Hello and welcome to our Intelligent Insights series and specifically our highly relevant Conduct Risk Management course. Intelligent Insights is an innovative learning approach that takes you beyond basic knowledge training. With Intelligent Insights, we provide experts in the chosen field whose direct experience will allow you to gain useful insights into the subject matter and allow you to understand the context of the material as much as the facts themselves. This is competency-based learning and it will help you master the subject rather than just become familiar with it. We are delighted to have two leading lights in the conduct risk arena to discuss the subject. Firstly, we have Nicola Crawford. Nicola is an enterprise risk governance and change management professional with more than 18 years of progressive leadership and training experience. Nicola is a non-executive director and chair of the Institute of Risk Management. She's a certified practicing risk manager and she's the founder and managing director of iRisk Europe Limited. We are also delighted to have Marcus Krebs. Marcus is a seasoned risk specialist, a chief risk officer, a board member and government advisor with 25 years experience in global financial markets, of which 20 of them have been in managing risk. Marcus is the creator of the global and universal conduct risk paradigms. And in April 2017, his universal conduct risk paradigm was recommended by the United Nations for use in the implementation of all of their 17 sustainable development goals. Conduct Risk Management is a six-module e-learning course that covers all of the key areas required by our regulators to understand the context, purpose and requirements of Conduct Risk Management and its policies and practices in financial services organisations. In Module 1, we introduce the concept of Conduct Risk and put it into context of our regulatory requirements. Most importantly, we discuss the purpose and scope and enforcement tools that this new oversight will command. Module 2 covers conduct, rules and accountability. In particular, we look at the responsibilities of senior management, the board and certified staff under the conduct rules. In Modules 3 and 4, the focus is on designing and developing a conduct risk framework and the practical challenges of implementation that this brings to financial institutions. Let's see how Nicola and Marcus view this as it relates to culture and individual accountability. And I think it's you know, important to understand from a capability perspective, you know, the individuals that we are trusting to run our organisations within the financial services sector, are they capable in terms of their skills, their knowledge, their understanding, but also from a cultural perspective, are they exhibiting the right behaviours that we expect as from a customer point of view, from a firm point of view and from a regulatory point of view? Thank you. I think you, you're absolutely right. You need to have these four C's in place for culture conduct capabilities and you also need to do it continuously. And some of the tools available, um, I guess, to some extent still need to be developed, but you're talking really about a culture and conduct capability assessment model. You're talking about conduct risk scoring tools that can be used by the organization. Uh, for the individuals, you need to make sure there's proper integrity screening tools, candidate screening tools being put in place, and equally, culture and conduct risk training, I think, I mean, this is why we're doing this here, is becoming the forefront of what firms should be doing in this yeah. space, continuously really. Uh, that's very, very important. Bringing conduct risk to life will be our focus in Module 5. So this will cover management information and evidence of misconduct. And finally, our last module, Module 6, will look at cultural change and embedding this new culture around conduct. While each of our six modules can be taken as standalone discrete units, we strongly recommend that you take the full course of six discussions in order to both gain a complete understanding of conduct risk management and also to meet the regulatory requirements for training financial services staff in this subject. We hope that you will both enjoy as well as learn from this conduct risk management course. And in addition to this e-learning offering, Nicola and Marcus also provide classroom sessions and customised workshops for your staff. So we look forward to hearing from you.
and thank you for watching.